This is Flo Tech, you're listening to drumandbasstv.com. <laughs> What is your favorite piece of studio equipment, and how do you get those sounds that are so characteristically faux tech? <laughs> uh, the favorite bit again, it's, it's got to be the, it's got to be the Macintosh. I mean, that's the center of the center of the studio. Whatever else comes around that is secondary, you know. So, um, I, I, and how the, how to get the sounds is just experimentation, you know. Really. Just the, it can be any, it can be can be any from any bit of cheap equipment to the most expensive high-tech thing, it's just, you know, whatever feels right. Really? What is your favorite piece of studio equipment right now? Um, it's probably the software I'm using right now, which is Logic, um, Logic Audio, and uh, probably Contact, which is the software song. So that's what, that's what I'm working with right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Great. <laughs> uh, how old were you when you made your first track? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think about like 21, 22, something like that. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm 30 right. now. <laughs> oh, really? I've been doing this a long time. How do you create the sounds that you use in your music? Um, it varies. I mean, most of the work is on the drums. And that can be like a combination of a session drummer and uh, some from old records. You know, just putting all that together. That's, that's most of the work. Uh, you have some of the best music videos of any drum and bass artist. How do you come no, up with the you? concepts behind your drum and bass videos? Well, I think I think the best one that I did was was probably Need Ten, the Japanese one. Yes. And that really, I was with a I was with a friend in Japan, and he was, uh, and I bought a, I bought a couple of swords in Japan, <laughs> and this this friend of mine, he, he and his, his family collected old swords, from like it goes way back in their family, and he explained to me about this technique, of uh, invented by a samurai called Mis um, Miyamoto Musashi, and it was the technique of fighting with two swords, a long sword and a short sword, and I went back home and I made a track that was based on that concept, and then I wrote the storyboard for that video. And then we went back to Japan later on that year and filmed in a ninja village in the north of Japan, which was, which was incredible. <laughs> there were actually like whole families of ninjas living in, living in the hills. And it was like a theme park in the summer and in the winter they just lived there. So we went there in the winter and we shot the video there. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, would you like to talk about Solaris? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> How is Solaris different than your other albums? Um, it's probably the warmest album.